Ridge family is speaking out about this tragic accident to stop it from happening to anyone else. Jennifer Kastner has a story you will only see on KCAL 9 News. I replayed it over in my head. I don't even know how many times. Just wishing I could take it back. <laughs> wishing I hadn't come. It's only been three days since Maddie McNaughton's rescue dog, Rupert, was sucked into this Newport Beach flood gate where he died. I didn't realize it until an hour after the incident that I was injured. McNaughton's now covered in cuts and scrapes from diving in after the 150-pound Mastiff mix, risking her own life in the process. I'm livid that my daughter almost died. And God help her if she died. I mean, it's bad enough that dog's gone. It all happened Thursday morning when McNaughton came down here to the Santa Ana River Beach that lets out into the ocean. She says a sudden, strong, high tide wave pulled the three-year-old dog all the way through the drain to the other side that's graded. She and her dog rescue community are terrified tragedy will strike another family. Just minutes before I got here with my dog Pluto, their ball, there was a dad and his two kids playing in this exact water that got him swept into that water, that into that drain. That could have been those kids. They were, he was way bigger than those kids were. The group says this area is not, at this time, a legal off-leash spot, but many people assume it is. We've been fighting for the dog beach here for almost a year. They want the county to cover the gate with grading and provide proper warning signs. We tried getting in touch with the Orange County employees who oversee that stretch of beach, but our calls have not yet been returned. McNaughton and her friends are planning to hold a candlelight vigil for Rupert this Thursday. In Newport Beach, Jennifer Kastner, KCAL 9 News.